Uh, okay guys, uh, moving along here, I've sent out for the DVD, um, which hopefully will have the feature on this set uh, in it. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought, let's keep on moving. So the, um, the waves change mechanism is in. Uh, I've wired up the two connectors to the uh, variable condensers. I know where this wire goes and I know where this wire goes. And I'm also 99% certain this uh, additional wire goes to ground. Um, and if you like the little breakthrough that I had here with this, um, let me see what do I need. Okay, so um, on the uh, local oscillator here, you have the three uh, transformers, and one end is tagged to ground. And so looking at it physically, I thought, well, since the three of these guys are mounted here and this is a ground plane here, then that's the three grounds, right? But in fact, it's not, because for instance, to this one here, there's no coil connected to this. This is purely a, a physical way of mounting the coil. Um, and so, in fact, when you look at it, the only way you have three coils connected to ground is with this one across here. So... As I said, I'm 99% certain this went to chassis. Uh, it just seems very strange that it would do it like that when there's plenty of chassis connections just along here. So why it went off to somewhere else, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, the other benefit of this is um, I now know which is you know which is T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. Um, and if I mess around with it some more, I'm sure I can figure out which is the primary and which are the secondaries for all of those. Um, so it means I'll be able to do a lot, uh, a lot of documentation of this when it's when it's all done and working. So uh, uh, as I say, I'll review everything when the DVD comes. Um, but in the meantime, I uh, ground out that little piece of metal there that was holding it uh, off square, um, and everything is now mounted. And uh, so that's that section out of the way for now. And so I think the next piece I'm going to do is um, all the tube filaments and the AC in um, so that I can get to the point where I can do a check, uh, not just on the continuity uh, of all the uh, valves, um, but actually do an initial fire up. Um, and see if uh, everything lights up. Uh, then after we get that done, we can get on to B plus and stuff. So moving along. Oh, and I found I had a couple of these uh, 100 microfarad, 350 volt electrolytics. Uh, so I must have uh, ordered up uh, optimistically at some point in the past, assuming that uh, I'd need them. <laughs> so at least I don't have to order those. Okay, slowly but surely, uh, so wave changes in, mostly wired up, and I've um, started, I've done the heater chain, so that's m all, the, all the valves are done, I just have to, uh, that wire going up here goes to the, um, to the dial bulbs and the bypass resistor. I gotta say this um, cloth covered cable is uh, I don't know what to wash out. It's it's certainly not appropriate for a set like this where you have so little room because a it's very thick and big and b it is extremely stiff. Uh, and so to get it to lie in sort of any way that you want is um, pretty damn difficult. So uh, I ain't gonna be using any more of this. That's for sure. Um, we'll see how I get it on with the regular stuff. Okay, that's it for now.